Now we will see in this experiment thermal conductivity of a bare conductor by Lee's method. This experiment consists of one steam generator and that steam generator supplies steam to these upper horodes. There is one slice of a bad conductor and there is a one lower dish. So upper hollow dish, slice of bad conductor and lower dish. There is one hole in which we have to insert thermometer T1 and there is another hole in which we have to insert thermometer T2 in the lower disc. So this is about the apparatus which we will use for finding thermal conductivity of bad conductor and this is divide. This experiment was conducted by scientist Lees and that is why it is called Lees method. So in this experiment this upper disc which is a hollow and steam inlet hole is there and steam outlet hole is there. Heat is passing through this bad conductor to lower disc of mass M. Already we have kept two holes, hole 1 for upper hollow disc and hole second for the lower disc. Now in the experiment, in this experiment, we have made such a type of arrangement. So upper hollow disc, lower disc in between sample is kept like this. Thermometer T1 is inserted into the hole of the upper hollow disc and thermometer T2 is inserted into the lower disc. Whole of this arrangement is shown in this figure. Continuously from upper hollow disc heat is passing through this bare conductor to this lower disc. By that both the thermometer shows TD temperature. There is a temperature difference naturally. Thermometer T1 shows more temperature than the thermometer T2 due to sample or due to bad conductor in between two days. Provide heat energy unless both the thermometer attain TD temperature. Here, supply heat unless both the disc attains TD temperature and thermometer T1 shows temperature theta 1 and thermometer T2 shows temperature theta 2. Theta 1 degree centigrade and theta 2 degree centigrade. Now both the thermometers, both the disc attains TD temperature. Then remove bad conductor and thermometer from the upper hollow disc. Both the disc are now in contact with each other. Provide the temperature, provide the heat through this upper hollow disc unless lower disc attained by 10 degree centigrade more. And it is to be noted with the help of thermometer T2 as this is shown in the figure. So supply heat to lower disc through its upper surface till it attains temperature of 10 degree centigrade more. Now remove this upper hollow disc. Again kept that bad conductor, slice of bad conductor on the upper surface of the lower disc and take the readings through this thermometer T2 in the interval of 30 seconds or 0.5 minute unless lower disc attains TD temperature or unless it is attending to room temperature. Till then take the readings. So these readings to be noted in tabular form like this. 
for certain time for zero minute for zero minute or zero second temperature is to be noted like this after 0.5 minute after 1 minute after 1.5 2 minute like this temperature to be noted continuously slice of bare conductor which having diameter d thickness x to be measured with the help of vernier caliper uh, vernier caliper and to be measured with the help of screw gauge micrometer thickness to be measured with the help of screw gauge micrometer and diameter of the slice of a bare conductor to be measured with the help of vernier caliper now this is a individual diagram for the sake of clarity this is upper hollow disc heat is being supplied to this lower disc through this bare conductor or slice of bare conductor there is a thermometer t1 and thermometer t2 both the thermometer attains td temperature then remove the slice of a bare conductor also remove the thermometer t1 from upper hollow disc and put slice of bare conductor on the low, upper surface of the lower disc and take the readings with the help of thermometer t2 in the interval of 30 second or 0.5 minute unless lower disc attains steady state temperature further in the tabular form write the readings till lower disc attains constant temperature and plot a graph which is nothing but the cooling curve which is against theta versus time steady state temperature at thermometer t1 of upper disc is theta 1 degree centigrade and steady state temperature at thermometer t2 of lower disc is equal to theta 2 degree centigrade mass of lower disc capital m in grams thickness of sample x in centimeter diameter of sample capital d in centimeter thermal conductivity of a bare material of bare conductor that is capital k and specific heat of a material of lower disc which is equal to small s is equal to calorie gram degree centigrade so capital k that is thermal conductivity of a bare conductor is given as 4 m that is mass of the lower disc s that is specific heat of the lower disc x that is thickness of the slice of bare conductor pi and d is the diameter of the slice of a sample or bare conductor pi d square into bracket theta 1 minus theta 2 where theta 1 is the temperature of the upper hollow disc that is the steady state temperature and theta 2 is the steady temp state temperature at thermometer t2 of lower disc and this is the slope taken from this cooling curve d theta by dt at theta 2 and which is equal to calorie per second gram degree centigrade so this is about the experiment thermal conductivity of a bare conductor by lees method so we can find thermal conductivity k using this 